The McDonnell XF-85 Goblin was an innovative American prototype fighter aircraft designed during World War II by McDonnell Aircraft. Its primary purpose was to serve as a parasite fighter deploying from the bomb bay of the Convair B-36 bomber to defend against hostile interceptor aircraft. The concept aimed to address the limited range of existing interceptor aircraft compared to the greater range of new bomber designs. The XF-85 was developed in response to a United States Army Air Force's requirement for a fighter to be carried within the Northrop XB-35 and B-36 bombers. The aircraft featured a distinctive potato-shaped fuselage and a forked tail stabilizer design. Two prototypes were built and underwent testing in 1948. Although the design showed promise, the aircraft's performance was inferior to contemporary jet fighters and docking difficulties led to its swift cancellation. The XF-85's design was influenced by historical parasite fighter concepts, such as the Royal Air Force's Sopwith Camel and the United States Navy's Curtis F-9C Sparrowhawk. The project began with a 1942 request for proposals for a diminutive piston-engined fighter, later revised to specify a jet-powered aircraft. McDonnell's Model 27 proposal was extensively redesigned to meet these specifications. The XF-85 measured 14 feet 10 inches long with folding wings spanning 21 feet. It had a limited fuel supply of 112 United States gallons 400 liters, for a 30-minute combat endurance. The aircraft had no landing gear but was equipped with a fixed steel skid and spring steel runners for emergency landings. The pilot was provided with a cordite ejection seat and four 50-inch 12.7mm machine guns. In service, the XF-85 would be launched and retrieved by a trapeze. The pilot would air start the engine and release from the mothership by pulling the nose back to disengage from the hook. Recovery involved approaching the mothership from underneath and linking up with the trapeze using the retractable hook. Flight tests were conducted using a converted EB-29B Superfortress mothership. Test pilot Edwin Forsman Schock performed the first free flight on the 23rd of August 1948. Despite successful maneuvers, docking proved extremely challenging due to turbulence and the air cushion effect. Schock made several emergency belly landings during the test program. The XF-85 program was canceled on the 24th of October 1949 due to performance deficiencies and docking difficulties. The United States Air Force continued to explore parasite aircraft concepts through projects like MX-106 Tiptoe, FICON, and TomTom. -Tom. The two XF-85 prototypes are now on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force and the Strategic Air and Space Museum. The McDonnell XF-85 Goblin represents a unique chapter in aviation history showcasing the innovative spirit of the post-World War II era and the courage of test pilots who pushed the boundaries of flight.